Justice Minister Ronald Lamola says the decriminalization of sex work will curb abuse in the sector. He was giving an update on progress made to decriminalize sex work in South Africa. Zeniko Mshaba was at that briefing and he joins us now for a debrief of sorts. Good morning, Zeniko. What more do we know? A very good morning to you, Tutuzele. Well, what we know right now is that the government is very open to hearing views of the public on the actual proposed amendment bill. One of the concerns, do, do I asked the Deputy Minister during that press conference was um, the attitude of government towards the varying um, views coming from different organs or for different um, publics in South Africa, especially between uh, advocacy groups and the religious communities. I do have the Deputy Minister with me right now. Uh, who's going to take us through some of the concerns which have been raised, uh, Deputy Minister. I know that you touched on some of them during the press briefing, but um, how, how, how considerate is government to those views, especially from the religious communities, from traditional leaders as well, and how have the engagement been going with those two groups specifically? Yeah, well, look, the main consultation process is starting now um, before the bill goes to Parliament, so the bill still has a long way to go. Uh, this is an issue that... Um, South Africans have debated for some time, many, many, many years, 20 years, maybe since the advent of our democracy. Uh, sex work is currently, uh, selling and buying of sex is currently criminalized. It's not having much of an impact. Uh, it's just creating other problems, in particular making uh, the sex workers vulnerable, uh, very vulnerable to, to their clients, to um, uh, people like that. And that's why it's part of the, uh, the decrease criminalization is part of the national strategic plan on gender-based violence and femicide. So what we're really saying is, look, we need, we've been debating this endlessly, we need to look at the realities facing um, people in the country. We need to do the right thing, what is best, um, but we need to actually as a country uh, take a decision on, on this issue and move forward. We can't carry on as we've been doing of trying to keep everybody happy. So the needs to be, we will listen to uh, obviously any inputs made. We will listen to the inputs of those who are opposed to decriminalization. Um, we will be listening to the inputs of those who are opposed or only support partial decriminalization. Um, but we need to ultimately come with a decision as, as the executive uh, and then uh, for parliament to, to finally um, approve or disapprove that or amend it. There have been concerns, Deputy Minister, about implementation of various legislations. We know that there are laws in South Africa that are meant to bring in to ensure that there's law and order in the country, but the understanding and implementation of those laws becomes a problem sometimes because even with the current legisla legislation right now, there's been a serious failure as you just articulated. So with this new amendment bill, should it, go, should it, should it pass, should it, should it succeed? What measures are in place to ensure that actually the values of this bill are actually understood and implemented officially on the ground? Although the selling and buying of sex is currently criminalized, uh, we are not aware, having checked with the NPA, of any um, prosecutions for these provisions that are going to be repealed, that any prosecutions have taken place uh, for some time. Uh, so effectively the law hasn't been uh, applied. Um, existing laws such as municipal bylaws on loitering, uh, which I think will affect people on the street being able to sell and advertise uh, sex, would still apply. And those are the responsibility of the municipality, and the municipalities have to ensure that those laws are applied. Uh, so existing laws um, would effectively uh, apply. Uh, when it comes to the issue of foreign migrants um, selling sex, uh, they would not be able to sell sex uh, unless they've got a work permit or they have got the ability, the right to work. They're asylum seekers, they are refugees, uh, th those kinds of categories. So it would be the existing laws ap apply. And obviously those laws must be applied. Um, I think it's an issue both of the state um, enforcing the laws, but also of people being law-abiding. I mean, somebody raised the issue of smoking. If you look at smoking after the last 30 years, uh, at the start of our democracy, smoking was very big. Now, large numbers, the laws have been tightened, and large numbers of people no longer smoke. 
they're doing that themselves. And what we really need as South Africans to be, to be doing is to be abiding by the law, law-abiding citizens. Thank you very much, Deputy Minister, for your time. Thanks. Deputy Minister of Justice, um, John Jeffries, just giving us a sense of how the government is planning to ensure that the implementation of laws are actually very, very successful, especially with this new coming amendment bill, should it pass. So that's it from us here in Pretoria. Thank you very much. Zeniko Mshaba.